All right, guys, so we got to talk about some very interesting developments surrounding who gets to go to the Queen's funeral, okay? So if you guys weren't aware, right, basically the only reason you wouldn't be aware is if you've been living under a rock, Queen Elizabeth II passed away just a few days ago. And ever since then, there's been speculation about who's going to be able to go to the Queen's funeral. Because in the past, when certain heads of state die, like Nelson Mandela, um, you have a delegation of U.S. presidents that will go to the funeral. So everybody's been wondering if Trump would go with Joe Biden or would Joe Biden invite Trump to come to the funeral for the Queen in the U.K., which would be amazing television, right? Um, I can't imagine that Joe Biden would actually want to do that or be in the position to do that which is basically what I'm going to talk about here today, but I got to rewind here first, okay? As, again, there's been speculation about whether or not Biden would invite uh, Trump and the uh, liberals on Twitter, like this guy right here, Brooklyn dad, defiant dad, who made a career being a Trump reply guy, okay? He will go along with the Democrat party no matter what it is, a self-proclaimed feminist, okay? Probably a simp. Um, <laughs> he is upset by the idea of even suggesting that Biden should invite Trump, okay? As he said, quote here, I'm seeing clips of Jake Tapper saying that President Biden should invite Trump to Queen Elizabeth funeral. I'm not retweeting CNN clips, so I'll just say it's the stupidest GD thing I've seen all day. Stop watching CNN. And there are a bunch of other uh, people with Trump derangement syndrome in his reply saying that, you know, Jake Tapper's disgusting, they're never going to watch CNN again, CNN is terrible, blah, 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 boycott CNN, simply because Jake Tapper said this. That I, I, There's something that is just like fascinating me, which is the notion that it's going to be basically left up to President Biden as to whether or not he brings other presidents with him to the Queen's funeral. I mean, the, 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 the UK has made it very clear that's up to the president. He's invited, and he can bring whatever delegation. So, obviously, Obama, you know, Carter, uh, Bush, no-brainers. What about Trump? Will he invite Trump? We'll see. I mean, that is a difficult uh, question of protocol of diplomacy. But I am told by a couple of diplomatic officials that, uh, look, the, the uh, Buckingham Palace is leaving it up to every country individually. I mean, imagine the nightmare of trying to do former presidents and former, de you know, defense ministers. But in the... In this case, it would be an easy solution if Trump wasn't in the picture. We'll see what they do. I mean, President Obama, when he was in office, he invited a President Bush, President Clinton, President Carter to go with him to Nelson Mandela's funeral as part of, of the delegation. So there is protocol for having U.S. presidents invite other presidents. Who knows? Maybe in the spirit of, uh, of uh, forgiving and giving, uh, President Biden will invite uh, Donald uh, Trump on the Air Force One. I doubt that'll happen, but I do expect some type of a bipartisan delegation. But look, they are leaving it to the White House, we're told. The White House is saying we're not going to say anything about this until the palace makes funeral arrangements. But by Monday, uh, they're going to have to figure this out because the funeral time will be announced tomorrow. Work. See, I think, Esmeen, I think that the, the, vet, the, the clever move is to invite him. Yes. And then see if he goes. And see if he goes. I don't think President Trump, former President Trump, would want to be subordinate on Air Force One. And I think probably he prefers his own plane anyway. Well, what do you think? I think. Yeah. So Jake Tapper got a whole bunch of backlash, right? People said boycott CNN simply because he suggested that it would be smart for Joe Biden to invite Trump to join him to go to the Queen's funeral. Like President Obama invited his previous predecessors. Plus Ted Cruz, right? Which is also an interesting fact. Apparently, Ted Cruz was invited as well, too, to go to Nelson Mandela funeral with him. So Obama not only took previous predecessors who were on the opposite side of the political spectrum, he also took Ted Cruz, who's definitely on the opposite side of the political spectrum, from Barack Obama. Which, again, is an interesting fact that puts Joe Biden in a hard place for him, considering how he has essentially labeled half the country, Trump and Trump supporters, as threats to democracy, as domestic terror threats to this country on the same level as a foreign terrorist threat. That is something that him and the Democrat Party have routinely come out here and done basically for the last year, ever since January 6th. So the mainstream liberal media and the radicalized base of the Democrat Party would be absolutely furious if Joe Biden extended an invitation 
to Trump to go to the funeral of the queen with him. The radicalized Democratic Party base would not like that, okay? Because, again, Joe Biden, Kamala Harris, Democrat Party, with their rhetoric, uh, they have radicalized these individuals to believe that their neighbors are literal threats to this country. What they would love to see more than anything is the president take all the other past presidents, including George Bush, to the funeral of the queen while having Trump sit at home in Mar-a-Lago. They would love that. That's exactly what they would love while at the same time talking about how much they hate the queen and the British monarchy because of European colonialism. <laughs> right. Yeah. So, again, these people really don't know what to believe. OK, but there has been some interesting developments since that CNN segment, because, again, everybody was saying, right, most people were expecting for uh, the UK to hand out uh, delegation invites and say, hey, Here's an invite to the president. The president can form whatever delegation he wants to accompany him to come to the queen's funeral. However, that is not what is happening here. And I find that to be very, very, very interesting in light of the speculation about having a situation where Biden has to uh, decide whether or not he wants to invite President Trump to join him to go to the funeral. But it looks like Biden won't have to be making that decision at all. And I find that to be very, very, very Interesting, because according to the White House, they're claiming that the UK only sent them individual invites. They did not send them an invitation to form a delegation, which means that the invites only are extended to Joe Biden and Jill Biden, which I found to be very, very, very strange um, as it has prompted headlines like this, very misleading headlines that says <laughs> Donald Trump potentially snubbed for the Queen's funeral after the Bidens received two invites. Okay, so here's the thing. Um, what this headline is suggesting is that Trump wasn't invited at all. Okay, that Trump is in snub. But again, if you want to apply that logic and say, well, the president getting individual invites instead of being asked to form a delegation, then doesn't that mean that Obama got snubbed, Bill Clinton gets snubbed? Uh, George W. Bush gets snubbed, Jimmy Carter gets snubbed, doesn't mean that all those past presidents got snubbed as well too, right? Because um, we haven't had word yet about whether or not they have received individual invites. What I found to be fascinating here is how the president was not asked to form a delegation when you would think that uh, the UK, right, the, the Queen's funeral, they're not just going to want the current president of the United States uh, attending, they're probably going to want past presidents of the United States that have visited the Queen or have some type of relationship with the Queen to attend as well. Like I, I can't imagine them not inviting Obama or you know George Bush or you know Bill Clinton. I can't imagine them not inviting them. But who knows? Maybe they won't get an invite because apparently, according to the people that handle this stuff, right in the Commonwealth, their office for you know this type of stuff. They're saying that the funeral is going to be so packed that only heads of states and their you know, wives or significant others or whatever will be allowed to attend. But that doesn't stop the mainstream liberal media from running headlines like this that imply that, oh, Trump will not receive an invitation to the Queen's funeral as if Trump is being rejected. Right. Like they're outright just saying, no, Trump's not invited. But again, they also fail to mention that Obama's not invited. George Bush isn't invited. Jimmy Carter's not invited. Bill Clinton's not invited. So did they get snubbed too? Are they throwing shots at those presidents as well too? I don't think so. Now, here's the thing. If they do end up inviting, you know, Obama or Bill Clinton or, you know, whoever, and they don't invite Trump, then yeah, that's a snub. Yeah, that's them basically saying, we just don't want you to attend. But even if that did happen, my response to that, right? And if I was Trump, the way I think about that is that, you know what, so what, <laughs> right? Screw up. That's not my queen, right? It ain't my queen. We fought a war to sever our relationship with Great Britain for a reason, right? Because of the monarch. So again, I don't think that Trump not being invited, if he doesn't get invited, or he gets snubbed in the sense that past presidents get invited, but he doesn't. I don't think it's the own that the left thinks that it is. I really don't. Because for the life of me, I don't understand how can you be so against the queen and say, hey, you know, we hate the queen. She was a bad person, blah, blah, blah. European colonialism. The Marnot was evil. How can you say all that? But then at the same time, kiki and ha ha. <laughs> Trump's not getting invited. 
to go to the Queen's funeral. Yeah, it blows my mind. It really is fascinating stuff to watch the left do a victory lap over this, okay? Over the fact that Trump is not invited to the Queen's funeral. But regardless, you know, hey, here's the thing, man. Um, even if I was Trump and you got like actually snubbed in the sense that they let other people come, uh, but not you, like other presidents, who cares, bruh, <laughs> right? Who cares? Because Trump, as the leader of the America First movement, I don't think it's a bad look for him not to go or to be snubbed. I, I really don't think that it really matters all that much, to be quite honest with you, because look, hey, I'm America First, man. Uh, I think it is cringe when people over here in America, Americans obsessed with the British monarchy. Again, considering our history with that country, just like I think it's cringe, the people that get so butthurt about European colonialism and the monarch's uh, role in that, right? I think both sides are cringe, okay? Both extremes on this issue. Um, so again, with that being said, um, whether or not Trump gets invited, I really don't think it matters. I just found it to be interesting that Biden was in that situation, and I would have liked to have seen what Biden would have done if he had the chance to invite Trump would he have actually done it? Because I do think that if this happened under Trump, I think Trump would have invited Obama. I think he would have invited all the past presidents, but I'm not sure if they would have accepted it. Just like I think that if Biden had invited Trump, I don't think that Trump would have accepted it, okay? But again, it, it is an interesting conversation. It is an interesting thought about whether or not, what would Joe Biden have done in that situation, considering how the guy ran on trying to be partisan OK, but as soon as he got elected to office, he became the most divisive guy in history. And if he actually had sent an invite to Trump, the left wing outrage that would have ensued just from him doing that. But at the same time, it would have been consistent with trying to unify the country. But we all know that that's not what the Democrats are trying to do. Uh, the Biden administration is probably breathing a sigh of relief that they don't have to make that decision. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.